Hey what's up this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic video. In today's video I am going to be walking you through some of the things you can do to maintain the sharpness of your images inside of Canva and this is very crucial especially when you are designing carousels in Canva. If in the reason is when I started out I used to face these um, problems that after I download my carousel or my entire design I realized that my images were all just blurry okay and this is because of some things i was doing without realizing but now i've been able to spot those things out and for some time now people keep asking me how they can also be able to maintain the sharpness of their images inside of canvas so i'm going to be walking you through everything you need to know and i believe by the end of this video you'll be able to make awesome designs while maintaining the quality of your images so if this is something you want to learn how to do Stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so you may be asking why is it important to make your images look sharper in your designs? The reason is you want to be able to get a professional look or you want to be able to let your designs um, have this professional look so that anyone who sees it can be attracted to them thing is if your images are blurry it's you know it gives this um idea that you know maybe the person behind the design didn't really know what he or she was doing or how come the image is blurry because it's very easy for people to spot the bad things in every design okay so you rather want to um go the extra mile and produce quality designs while maintaining the sharpness in your images so, so the first thing you can do to be able to maintain the quality of your images is by using high quality images and this is the basic thing we all need to do the reason is when you use high quality images the number of pixels in the images are a lot so even if you stretch them out okay you are still able to maintain um, the quality but if the image has a low quality then it means that the number of pixels in the images is it's also low so once you stretch the image you begin to realize that the image becomes blurry because the number of squares okay that comes together to form the entire images begins to be stretched you understand that's why it's always good to go for a high quality image so now you may be asking yourself where can you find quality images and um, some of these websites are on splash.com there are pixels.com there is um, freepick there is pixabay these websites have quality images and I use all of them and the ones I find myself using the most is on Splash okay if you want to move to the next level the best website I can recommend to you in terms of um, buying images or buying stock photos is Adobe Stock they have one of the most I don't know they are just on the next level and um, their images are just so beautiful now the second thing to have in mind is to avoid overstretching your images okay so for example what i mean is um, i have a blank canvas here just to demonstrate what i mean by overstretching so this is the original dimension of this photo okay and i can use this as the background you know it stretches the image but not to the point where it begins to look blurry but this is the case where sometimes you may want your image to look as you know bigger than normal and once you begin to stretch the image too much you can see this image is a very um, good image so even though we are stretching we are still um, seeing that it's still looking sharp but trust me you if we keep on stretching you can see it means i'm over stretching this image i'm really over stretching and i'm just going to keep on stretching and stretching and you see that at the point the image becomes blurry i don't know how it looks from your end but on my end the image now looks blurry because i've overstretched it to the point where it's now <laughs> should i say unstretchable okay so this is one thing we need to avoid doing in canva and a perfect example is when you download images from google normally they come in small sizes okay and this is what you have to do so let me head on to my chrome and let me just search for let's say um beauty okay but i would go into the image um section of it and you can see i have images here so to be able to download high quality images from google we just come to tools i believe yes and we come to size in size make sure to choose large 
okay because this would help to sort out quality images for you so even when you download them it means you're downloading higher quality images and aside that when you still bring them in canva just make sure that you are not over stretching them so the next thing you'd want to keep in mind is using good background removers and with this um, especially if you are using the free version of canva you want to make sure that the background remover you are using is not really um, smashing the quality of your image because most of these free background removers do that when you use them they rather reduce the quality of your image and um, i'll just jump into my browser so that we can all have a look at some good background removers and how to use them the right way the first one is remove the bg and this is the hard truth remove the bg reduces the quality of your image after you use them because um generally when you come here you're using the free version of it what you need to know is canva uses the pro version of this tool that's why when you remove the backgrounds of your images in canva you are still able to maintain the sharpness of your images but if you come here and you are using it automatically you are using the free version of it so let's upload an image to see how it works so i'm going to choose an image okay so i just scroll down and um, select one nice image i have so that i just remove the background of it and then um, we'll see what happens after we remove the background so i select this image i have over here and um, okay it's saying all right so maybe i just have to choose another image so let me just um search for an image so this should work okay this is a png already it has no background so uh let's see let's see let's see let's see all right so i'll use this image as an example i'll select this image and you know remove the video should do its thing it should just remove the background of our images okay so yes it's done and this is the original image and it's removing the background okay so you see it removed the background okay so this is the original um dimension of the image oh yeah that's what yeah that's the original dimension of the image and after i removed it you can see this is what we have you can download this easily but if you want to download this you know it says one credit and then um, you have to sign up and then um, at the, at the point you actually have to pay i believe so okay so you can just see how this is you know it's reduced the quality of the image if you want to be able to do things quickly <laughs> then it means you you just have to um download the lower version of the removed image for the background removed okay and the next one i have over here which is the background removers is trace okay so stickermule.com slash trees and by far this is my favorite because so far as compared to remove the bg this one you know with the quality it's way better than remove the bg the only thing is you'd also have to sign up for this and i already have an account why not because if you want to be able to enjoy a service like this you have to sign up and i, I did a long time ago so once i upload my image it should um you know let me just choose an image here and i i just hope it's able to remove the background okay so it's loading and yes here we have it you can see it's removed the background of our image but it's still large okay and you can see how it's looking right now it's still not a hundred percent you know in terms of the quality of our image is not at the point like where we we want it to so with something like this when we move it into canva it means that we do not have to even like um, increase the size or stretch our image any further because once we do that then we are really going to hurt our image all right and now the next thing we are going to look at is a tool that can help you to improve the quality of your image okay so let me just switch to my browser again then i can just walk you through this tool so the name of the tool is called AppScaler. okay AppScaler and um, it's called icons8.com slash upscaler i believe and this tool helps you to improve the quality of your image so if you come to browse okay and um if you have an image that you know has a very low quality you can move it here and improve okay and increase the quality of your image so what you can do is when you finish designing in canva and you realize that the quality of the image has been reduced what you can do is you can come here to icons8.com slash upscaler 
and import your designs here okay so that it improves or it increases the quality of your image and these tools they use this ai stuff okay and uh, yeah, you can see how it's looking now this is the original one and this is the improved one it is looking way better okay it's, it's looking better okay, because it improved it two times okay and you can see even from the dimensions you can tell from here so these are some of the things you can do to improve or maintain the quality of your images inside of canva and i hope you found this video helpful and i believe from now on you know you know the tips and tricks on how to, to maintain the quality of your images and also how to improve the quality of your images after you are done designing in canva i have more tutorials on how to make awesome designs in canva which i believe you can check out another thing i want you to know is i am coming up with a mesh store that's why i'm wearing this cool t-shirt over here and um once it's fully out you'll also be able to get yours the name is benjamin and i will see you in my next video